We're here at the KDL for the final match of the day. It is going to be the Tier 1 match, Game 2 of Pokerface against Rave. We saw a stunning upset. I guess we'll call it an upset, but it's still pretty early days current, so I don't know yeah. about that. Rave has been playing very, very well recently. They did 2-0 MVP Phoenix last week, but we just saw Pokerface take in a very exciting game off of Rave. Yeah, yeah. It was a very, very high-level game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. uh, it was basically a team that had to push, a team that had to defend. Both did uh, the job really well. Everybody played really, really well. Mm. Uh, supports to carries everything, but in the end, Pokerface prevailed. Yeah, they they made they managed to continue to. They just they like got thwarted like twice in a row there as they were trying to push the main More base. Than twice they got, they got like they three defend, like, so many times. Yeah. Man. So they maintained pressure and they finally got in. They finally got that second set of Raxes. And, well, they managed to close it out from there, but very, very exciting game. Non-stop fighting, Karn. Yeah, man. Something I like to see. Yes. Uh, some of that, those, uh, those late game farm fests get pretty boring after a while. I mean, it can be fun that there's some point where everything, like, explodes. Like, in the, when it goes late game, then, like, yeah. stuff happens everywhere and there's, like, buybacks and, like, yeah, and base plays and stuff. Yeah, and it goes crazy and then, like, Absolutely. one small decision can decide the game. Mm -hmm. Right now, it was pretty clear from the beginning what was going to happen. And, yeah. Uh, the execution was there. Uh, uh, Ray managed to defend. They made the right decisions. Like it was very, like it was like an inch. Like it, was, didn't, it would not take too much for either Pokerface to stomp them or for Ray to defend and then yeah. stomp back. So no, absolutely. It was a very, very exciting game here. Yeah. And here's Rior. He played uh, the Centaur, centaur last he played game. Six Centaur, man. It Amazing was Centaur. MVP for me, easily on Ray. Yeah, he was holding things down. With some six equal stumps. And I mean, we already got the uh, picks and bands on the way here. We see Ember and Tree banned out from Rave this, yeah, this time. time they're, they're, they're like, we're not gonna deal with this anymore. We, we, don't, we, we don't want the Tree. We don't want you to pick the Tree either. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Naga banned. Poker feels like uh, that was dangerous. I think they, they got scared. They're yeah. Like, oh, that, that was close. No surprise there. And Death Prophet banned out as well. And an Earthshaker pick up the Poker Face straight up. Yeah, they gave up the Brewmaster, though. Uh, they have to be, give it up for this, so they gotta get like a couple of really strong picks. Do you think Skyrath is? I really think Skyrath would be great. Uh, yeah, but if you already pick your, your both your supports, uh, it's not good. Yeah, like, they might just pick something else just so that they're just gonna maybe ban it. Mm, maybe I mean, one of the teams is gonna ban it. I don't think they're gonna pick the Skyrath man now. They could, but uh, if they do, then the fix is pretty obvious. And yeah, they're gonna go Razor. for the reason. Okay, they're just gonna go back to the basics here. Like okay, we wanna we want with that kind of our old style of pressuring, snowballing. Razor is gonna be able to do the same pretty much. He's gonna pressure Blue Master a lot, so give him an agonims and he's good to go. Yep. Now to see uh, where Skara is gonna go, that's the question. Is he gonna get picked by Rave? Is he gonna get banned? It's by Rave. Mm. Or is he gonna is he gonna give it to Poker Race? Because otherwise, I think they will definitely get it. There's MP. Played Juggernaut last game. Played a great Juggernaut as well. Mm -hmm. Some very clutch uh, on these slashes there. Caught a few times, but some stomps. But uh, after a while, after some, after some, then he was like, "Okay, mm -hmm. I'm done. I'm never gonna get caught again." Yeah, probably better him than um, Sven getting caught out, I guess. Sven yeah. did a lot of damage in the end there. Uh, this time, the Rave can grab Ooh, the Jukiro. Okay. All right, Rave gonna give him back some of that, some of that medicine. Jukiro was a big factor too in this game. He did. He he, he pretty much started the snowball. He like started on those towers at the top. Yeah. From there, you know, it just continually liquid fire on everything he can. Actually, all of them, like all five heroes, were really crucial in that. They that were strategy. all MVP, Karn. They like, did a great job. I mean, the picks, picks, pick wise. I think all the heroes were very, very important in yeah. that game. Yeah. Oh, I agree. They need the train to stop the pushes or the split push. The van to swap after the center initiation was saved so many times. Mm. So we saved so many people so many times, uh, Jakiro yeah. for the, and the Juggernaut for the pushing power, etc, mm -hmm. etc. And this man obviously who crushed Naga mid and offered like, again, help pushing with the Warcry. Gives so much armor to the creeps too, so... Yeah. Yeah, uh, all Good came luck. together in beautiful harmony yep. and created such a powerful push time and time again, even after they got wiped like two or three times. Yeah. But this game is a different game. It is a whole new game here, Karn. And we see Medusa banned out. Interesting. And they, they Rider. Seem, Yeah, they seem to like to just ban uh, late game stuff. Mm. Like, late game carries that do like to play, just rice, rice you, it up. Do you think we're going to see the same kind of style from Pokerface this game? 
They have a Razor, so there's a very high chance of it. There's a very big possibility. But I mean, the same can be said from uh, what Brave is so far. Chikura, very, very good. And I mean, Panda comes online. I'm sorry, Brumas comes online. Yeah. When you get that Blink Dagger and level 6, do a lot of work. Might be a stuff for the sign. Yeah, it could be. And, uh, I hope so. I hope we see another exciting game like last. Centaur is in the pool. Centaur, uh, actually, very surprised they leave Centaur in the pool because I think Rave is just going to get it. I think Rave is, yeah, I think Rave is definitely getting Centaur if he's not banned. I think it'd be a huge mistake from Pokerface as well, considering how much work it did last game. He does every game. Like, Rave uses Centaur very, very well, mm -hmm. and it's very good against Razor because every time he links, he can just. Uh, stampede and no link for you. Razor is a hero that depends on positioning, but yeah. Well, Poker fairs, yeah. Get rid of Morphling. So they just want to ban Jago stuff. Yeah, they just don't want to deal with that late game. Still, yeah. Fair enough. I guess if they're really worried about that player, that's fine. Maybe they get Centaur for themselves. Centaur again, uh, pretty good against this lineup. So, for example, if uh, Brewmaster is initiated, so just Stampede run away while he's speeding. Yeah. Don't deal with it. Yeah, that's very, very true. And it's very good with Razor anyway. Like, uh, the ability on Razor, uh, especially like, you give him a race haste rune, it's like the best rune you can get on Razor, and well, that's what Sentry does. So. Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Poker face taking a long time with that third pick here. No, that's to think about it really carefully. Mm, what do they want to do to deal with Jakiro and Brewmaster? Lost, uh, they got a lot of bands from last game as well. Shreen, Doom. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, it's wide open still. Yeah, it's still wide open, right? We don't know if to support Jakiro or core Jakiro. I know uh, Chrissy plays Jakiro for Raid sometimes. Yeah. Slark. It's gonna be Slark. Ooh, Slark. Okay. Slark is pretty good against Jakiro. Slark is very good against Jakiro, actually. There's nothing Jakiro can do. Yeah. yeah just, just drop him and just dies. But his animation is so long, like, you're just gonna dark pack anything anyway. Mm. So, okay, there's Febby. Played Jakiro last game. Had a very, very important role in last game. Like he's, he's like, okay, this is like, what we do. Uh, I got it, guys. I figured this puzzle out already. We're gonna win 2 0. So it's gonna be up to Rave now. What will they get next? Gonna really tell us what exactly they want to do with their lineup here. They want to go for that late game and they want to go for a more push style like we saw last game from Poker Face. Vengeful again. Vengeful again, okay. I believe we saw Poker Face have a Venge last game, right? Yeah, yeah. did a lot of it. Help, it. Helped so much, like, help. Uh, oh, the swap saved. Yeah, so saved Sven especially. Yeah, so much. So Could very well be Ninja Boogie playing this one as well. Has recently become, or well, I guess this season has become the support player. Yeah, last season too, uh, towards the, towards second, the end. Half, second half. Of the yeah, season. it's weird how he started out as a carry and then moved to support. Yeah. Very opposite roles there, but yeah. well, I guess you got to do what you got to do. Everything for the team here. Ben doesn't give too much away. I mean, you could. Uh, I mean, you're just gonna be able to bail out people getting caught. Yeah. Very strong. And Someone gets pounced. Yeah. You know, swap. swap that out. You're all good to go. So, yeah. Still pretty wide open uh, sort of lineups here. Rubik now for Poker Face. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess it's Shakiro. Uh, because, like, uh, Ice Path on Rubik is so strong. It's instant. It's not like Shakiro. Like, it takes like 10 years to cast his Ice Path. But yeah. Rubik is instant. But uh. And I mean, even Liquid Fire would help out a lot of too if you steal that. Yeah, if you steal that. You just yeah. push. <laughs> I don't know if we can steal it though, I'm not sure. It's a uh, think? It's an attack modifier, so I don't know if we can uh, steal it. Maybe. Actually, no, I don't think we can steal it. Maybe, maybe you're right. That'd Actually, be cool if you could. I don't think Let's think about that for a while. Because it's not could a spell, it's an attack modifier, so I'm pretty sure right. you can't. No, that makes sense then. Oh well. Yeah, I've never actually seen that before either. So yeah, so that makes sense. That would be crazy. Man. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> sick, man. <laughs> You know, I'm just thinking of cool things. You still liquid fire? All right, we're good to go. Let's let's get six towers. I throw, please. Like, <laughs> see, fourth pick still being decided. It's gonna be the Ogre, Ogre. Ogre Magi this time, so we are gonna see a core to cure. Most likely, MVP likes to run Ogre mid sometimes, so we don't know. Mm. But yeah, most likely support. 
a revenge plus ogre. Pretty strong uh, roaming duo, like two stuns, a, a slow. A lot of roaming power there, a lot of gank potential. Yeah. There's Chrissy. Played Doom in the last game. He played, a, he played a pretty great Doom. Yeah, he did he, okay. he, he's he's okay. like in I the thick of things a lot of the time, blinking in. He was not the best Doom game, that's why it was pretty tough for him. Yeah. And we see Spectre ban out finally for Poker Face. Yeah, this is just like no J.O. You're not playing like No J.O. <laughs> There's like him though still, so I don't know, man. <laughs> They might they forgot well. one, they forgot one. They forgot the one that he likes the most. <laughs> <laughs> and there's JYU. And especially with the Jakiro, man. With the Jakiro in this kind of lineup, mm. uh, yeah, that can could. That could, that could be it, man. That could be it. And there's JYU now. Five bands in his name, essentially. I think it's four. There's one four. Base. Yeah. There's Death Prophet. He doesn't play Death Prophet. Doesn't play Death Prophet. All right. Four bands. DJ's Rio who plays Death Prophet. Uh huh. And we saw an Omni Knight uh, band out from Rave as well. It was a good band. Yeah, Booker Face, I think I've done this before. Omni Knight, Slark. Mm -hmm. If they had an Omni Knight, just uh, Slark. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Magnus, okay. I like this a lot, actually. He's always a fun hero to watch. Yeah. What do you think about it in this lineup? And an anime. Okay, this is good. Oh, J.O. <laughs> All right, we, I think we could see a late game with this one as well. Yeah. I actually think we're going to see Poker Face be even more, more aggressive once again. Yes. Stick definitely. to their style. Try and shut down this anti mage and just casually push as much as they can, as they do. Yeah. Here's a quick look at Team Poker Face as the game loads. And here is Rave. Trying to save the series, gotta get themselves uh, some money. Yeah, so try, trying to get a payday. Beating MVP Phoenix 2 0 last week. Already down one game to Poker Face this week, though. It was a bit of an upset, a bit of a. Kind of busting tier one wide open, like anyone's beating anyone at this point. Yeah, exactly. It is crazy. It's Pink kidding. keyboard. Pink. Uh, I don't know about that. I, uh, it looks alright, I guess. I don't know. Twitch is on. He has pink uh, wristbands too. Yeah. Wristband. Maybe his favorite color. Uh, going to game pretty soon. Any second now. This game has loaded. Here we go. Again, poker face, five, five manning to some jungle. Yep, looks like they're gonna five man through their jungle this time. Look for a fight, perhaps. Jeez, like I'm level one in teammates, I'm gonna go fight in their jungle. <laughs> Why not? Rior leading the way, wants to get a ward down. Gotta be careful though, don't wanna get caught out. Yeah, he did the, he did he the same thing. He could very well get caught out. He's gonna be very, very careful. He's hiding. Oh, he is way uh, too deep here. Wow, is, this oh, is. Oh, my see him? Oh, oh they saw him, all right. He is in huge trouble here. Rio, what is he gonna do? Oh, we can see a very, very easy he's, first blood here. Pounced, oh, no! Oh, it uh, should be enough still, right? It should he's be. He's gonna yeah. body block, body block. Oh, yes. oh, looks like Febby will take the first blood here, so a very, very easy pick off there. Completely worth it. Yeah, the tree is a. Uh, the collateral damage. Collateral damage. We did see the ward go down though, so. Can help out a little bit. But a great start for Poker Face once again here. And we're gonna see a mid any mage. Yeah, against the Razor, it's pretty good. Yeah. You cannot link, so. I guess you, a good choice. you just blink away, right? Yeah, so it's a re actually a really good choice. Not a bad idea. Ninja Boogie. Harassing Fabi, not going to do much else there. It's a pretty cool uh, set. Maybe it's going to be a dual lane mid. Maybe, maybe. Just give him that head start. Very, he, very important. He got pulled a lot. He got pulled like two tangos. He has like, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's the best build, the best items he can have at this point. Yeah. The Quilling Blade is going to be able to, I think he's, he can win this lane actually. You think? He's going to take, he's already taken quite a considerable amount of damage. Yeah, but uh, he, he, I mean, He's gonna depend a lot. Oh, oh, still not enough. Just a nice harassment there. Sky without mana though. Defensive try lane. Gets defensive try lane. Yep. Maybe he gets a one v one, but uh, he's not happy with that one. No, that would be a kind of a gross one v one here. Chris is gonna have pretty uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. Liquid fire. Completely dominate this lane, and we'll have to wait and see how aggressive they're gonna be with this Jakiro. 
I think he's just gonna push lane up by himself. Yeah. Push lane and uh, casually push when he can. Kill the tower. Jo already learning. I, mean, I, I don't know, Karn. I don't know. Oh, about he's doing fine. He's like six one two three zero, man. Yeah, that's what true. I mean. What, I, what I'm saying, what I mean is, you know, when you win the lanes, like he's gonna get a lot from your lane. This is not supposed to happen. Like with Razor, you wanna crush your lane. Yeah. You're supposed to win your lane, but generally you you can with a against especially against the melee. But this time it's a bit weird. Yeah, it's name. He can blink away. He has a. Um, Mana, mana break to last it the range creep for sure. And uh, he has his quelling blade, so he'll get a poor man shield, maybe a bottle. I'm not sure exactly he wants to. I don't think he's gonna get a bottle. Yeah. If he really, really needs it, he will. But he's gonna be okay. I think. Yeah. He gets if he gets some help. Yeah, exactly. At the very least, I mean, static link is gonna force him out of the lane. Just force a blink, yeah. For a second, yeah. Give him a little bit more space there. Bounty <laughs> ring. Tough. Yeah, Kikuri just having a great time. There's simply nothing Febby can really do at this point. He can, if he gets a good skewer under the tower, yeah. If Chrissy gets oh, too yeah. aggressive and like, gets too cocky, gets skewered into his. Uh, that could be bad. His tower, yeah. That's why I think Magnus is very good in one v one matchups against melee heroes because when they come for the last hit, you can just skewer them back into the tower. Every for every single last hit, every time you have the cooldown, it is the threat to yeah. skewer into the tower. Mm. We're looking at the lineups. Uh, I think even late game it's pretty even. Uh, Slug is pretty good against AM in general. That's mm -hmm. fine. Uh, obviously they have AM, they have a Brew Master by a lot of space during the fights. But again, there's a Razor, there's a Magnus. They got they got a lot of ways to control this AM. So that's why I'm not too worried about Poker Face. Or poker Face in the late game. Yeah, yeah, I I completely agree with you. We'll just have to wait and see exactly what their plan is, what their objectives are. Are they actually going to take it to that late game, or are they going to be trying to do what they did last game and just be a lot more aggressive? Though it I guess they don't really have much pushing power until Razor has his Aghanims. Mm, yeah, true. Yeah, so they probably want to take it to, the, like, I guess the mid game Whoa. before they start being aggressive here. Sky! He's still okay, though. He's still okay. I'm kind of surprised they did stun him a bit earlier there while he was really out of position. They need rear the position to get the mm. kills in. Yeah, look here, uh, like... AM is destroying Razor, man. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right there, Karn. JYU is having a horrible time in this mid lane. He's got like 9 2 to 19 and 5 of the anti mage. JYU is just killing the matchup how he should. Yeah. Febby, pretty low, actually. He's gonna check this rune. Yeah, he got straight. Okay, he went straight for the Ring of Regen, Ring of Health, which is really good. This is exactly. If you don't go battle, that's what you're gonna do. Yeah, well you as need that you sustainability, get, yeah. right? Especially against yeah. a range like a Razor. Yeah, as soon as you get the ring, there's nothing Razor can do. Yeah. Like, there's literally nothing you can do to zone, zone you out, so... Now the lane is just gonna keep getting even better for uh, for J.O. Is mm. so they really gonna do something about this AM mid, man? Yeah, but oh, here we go down. Bottom Sky goes down. At the same time, Rior getting pretty low here. And looks like he will also fail. Debbie. Great nice skewer there, there, and I don't think they will end up getting cast. Nice oh. magic missile on the 485. Oh, Venge getting very, very low, and he also drops. He's gonna get. He's gonna be three kills, man. He's gonna be three kills by the looks of things. Oh, but the pounce misses, and no. Oh, they get him just in time. Magnus now is like. What level is it? He's been getting so many kills in here. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, no, we are now. We are overcommitting here, and if he gets pounced, he's in huge trouble. He's trying to juke it. It looks like they won't commit to it because Vengeful has made her way back. Oh, yeah, he's gonna have a secure. Yeah, he has a secure. He's so got a secure. Oh, he wants it so badly. He's looking for it. Meanwhile, Razor has cut up a bit in the middle lane. Yeah, I guess he. I guess he got some space. Yeah, he leveled up the plasma field, so that helped him get get some more farm. Mm. So he's getting a little bit more even now. Rave with a small lead to begin things off. Very uh. Kind of a weird engagement for Pokeface down bottom. And by Pokeface, I mean Rave. Yeah, the fact that they're going aggressive Trident, it helps them secure the late game for Rave, because uh, Slark can go Midas now. And uh, if it doesn't go Midas, he relies a lot on the getting kills to, uh, to get ahead and get, get the far. Oh, Pounce has been done. Do you have that secure? It, can, it misses, I think. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter. 485 comes and helps out and finishes the job. So another great gank there. Three Master goes down for Rave. Five to two now. Pokerface. Bit of a lead in terms of, uh, I guess, ganks. 
kills, but when it comes to farming, Dude, look how much farm Chikiro uh, is 40 to 3 now, completely dominating his lives, essentially free farming yeah, with like, liquid fire. That's why Fibi, Fibi's move was uh, very good. Like, just ditch the lane and go help bottom lane where the aggressive yeah. train is. Oh, Brewmaster again, Rior! There's some kind of. Oh, hang on a second. Fibi got caught out here, a little too under the tower there, and Magic Missile finishes things up. Finishes things up. <laughs> that skill seems a little bit glitched, man. Yeah, it's a bit weird here. Oh, nice dodge on the magic missile. And they will remain safe. Five to three now. That's MP, looking good. Injured. Not, yeah, not too healthy, actually. At the same time, we just see a, a whiffed ice path. 485 there. 485 in Sky on Chrissy. Chrissy should, should, just kill the should be absolutely fine with this yeah, race. Gonna, you can't even get a double kill with it. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Oh, oh, the skewer maybe actually helped him. Not enough there. He's going to die. He's going to die. He's going to die. Oh, nicely done. That's completely worth it then. Forcing a wow, he really wants that. He really wanted that music, man. <laughs> the devil one in... Uh, oh, so yeah, that would be crazy. He's getting stats here for the... No, is he? No, I don't think so. Yeah, actually, no, yeah, he got a point of stats. It's pretty standard on AM, he's got a one point in uh, mana shield, one point in, one point in mana break. He got a second one, I guess, to, to help the lane phase. Mm -hmm. And the rest, some stats. Yeah. He really needs them. So there's such low HP hero, low strength gain. And he was almost, almost done, Jakiro. Yeah, it's looking really good here. Chrissy, yeah, had a great lane up top here. It looks like they're going to rotate it out. We're going to have Jakira mid. AM maybe. So it looks like AM is actually rotating mid as well. Are they actually going to start pushing this raid? You see a lot of liquid yeah. fire stacks. And J.O. is mid as well. So I, I don't know about this there. It's an AM. Like, I kind of feel like he should be going for that Battle Fury ASAP. Well, that's what he's doing, but I mean, if they push the tower mid, he's just there anyway, so why not? Like, top. It's kind of weird, though, because there's only two mid. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't need much. They don't need to commit much, like, especially when oh. there's like... They want to commit to this MP there. They're going to actually begin the push down bottom. Any trade is going to favor Poker Face, though, because uh, they cannot really push towers too well. Oh, and here we go. Thunderclap. A lot of damage on the MP. Looks like he's going to try to get out. We do see a rotation of Rubik and Earthshaker down. Sky in 485. They are retreating, though. And we do have Ogre okay, Major looking for someone. 485 is in trouble. Yeah. I don't think he's getting out of here. And it. down goes Rubik. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. We don't know why Pandora, but nicely done there. Ogre okay, Major cleans it up with his Fire Blast. And yeah, AM went top. Get some farm in there. So, as, uh, as you were suggesting. As I suggested, yeah. you're listening he, to me here. He has his perseverance if he wants to, and yeah. all he's gonna need is like 2,600 gold, and he has his battle free. So I guess not too much longer. Maybe a 15 minute battle free is to be expected. Yeah, at the very least here. Yeah, Chrissy, hold down middle. Looks like Magnus looking for something, looking for that skewer. It's like a very poor. He's had a bit of a rough start. This, this lane down bottom has been very, uh, very intense. And Blue Master against any melee is very, very annoying to lane against. Yeah. Like, you cannot really pressure him. You can pressure him whenever he wants. So, and they had like also two stunners with him, so it was a very strong try lane. And uh, Poker Face with really, Rubik really doesn't bring much. Uh, in the early levels, like, he's new. Yeah. Does. Not, not that much damage, and it costs a lot of mana, etc, etc, so... It's a very defensive try they had. Yeah, I agree completely. J.U. there, leading the way, 57 losses at this point. He's still a way away on his, uh, on his Battle Fury there. Probably have to wait, like, five more minutes. Yeah. Uh, and unless, like, he, he, he stays completely unchecked and... They don't get many towers. Let me get some more towers. Yeah, we did see a smoke. On the Ogre Major. He's on, well on his way for his blink. We've seen only bolts already on top of the Arcane Boots. But well, enough in Magnus at 10 minutes in is pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. We did see a lot of rotation from him as well. Yeah, yeah. He's been up on that. That's why. Yeah, I tried to block Chrissy. Can he? Oh, Chrissy has been caught out. Whoa. Very, very nice there. So much damage. Chrissy should go down. Gets the heals out, but certainly not enough. 
Nice rotation there. Very solid. Getting rid of that uh, secure. Yeah. And at the same time, MP down bottom. Yeah, Can he get away? He should be able to get away. Pounce. Uh, even, even the ignite didn't. didn't oh wow. Didn't dash on because of the drug pact. Yeah, it's huge. The MP is always on point with these uh, defensive abilities that he has to use right before he gets stunned or anything. Oh, Ruby got blink. <laughs> That should actually be great initiation there if they find someone out. And it's like there's nothing else uh, AM can give him besides mana void. Yeah, that's true. Here we go again. Nice blink in. Yeah, oh, but Pounce are... return here. Primal split activated. MP. Oh, can he? He didn't oh. have time. He didn't have time. He already used his uh, his pounce once here. Looks like they are going to go for the Rubik instead though. But Rubik has blink and he's out of there. Very that's nicely done. But that's a wasted split. This is pretty big. That is a wasted split. MP coming back into this now. Yeah, he's gonna go for real. Again. Oh, so much damage done, but has to get out again. Just four behind him, three behind him. Oh, nice dodge on the uh, magic missile. <laughs> it's like ice path wars in there. Oh man. Can he get the deny now? No. Well, Let's get the deny. Christy ends up getting it, but and they actually might get Febby for their trouble as well. I think they might. Yes, they do. Ice path stops them in their tracks. They're looking for MP here. He's gonna have to find a good pounce out of here. Oh. Nope, not gonna happen. Two go down there, as well as a tower. Looking a great start for Rave. Yeah, meanwhile, Jiu just free farming top and pressuring the 2 2. Yeah. Ooh. At least, I guess Jiu is gonna get a tower. That's something. That's, that's a little something. It's a little bit better. Ninja Boogie, very, very low off that plasma field. Yeah, Jiu yeah, having uh, a great time. Yeah, he's gonna be Ooh, yeah. well on his way. Yeah, a thousand goals for his battle three. So. He's gonna be right on point, his timing. Mm, I like it. He's oh, oh. Ninja Boogie had been simply too low. He shouldn't have been out there for this long. And an easy guy. clean up for the Razor. GYU. Who's going for a straight BKB, so I guess, again, they want to hit a timing, they don't want to wait. But this Slark is so poor, I don't even know if they can. Yeah. Slark, is too, they can, Slark cannot fight. I mean, they just don't have really much tower damage either. Like, without the Aghanims on the Razor, like, how do they expect to like push these and snowball very efficiently? I think you just want to take fights when we get kills, not, not necessarily towers. Yeah. I just want to kill people and get map control this way, but the game is way too even for them to manage to do this because of simple BKB on the Razor. Yeah, BKB is not going to change much at all. I completely agree with you. He kind of needs it, but uh, I think he needs it like afterwards, like later, because there's so many stuns, there's Ice Path, Vengeful, there's like, so many spells. Yeah. And uh, if uh, his BKB is like down to five seconds too early and he doesn't do enough damage during his BKB, it's gonna be kind of wasted. Nice side pass there. Scouts out. Yeah, it's shaking. Oh, oh, he, oh he misses the skewer. Oh no. Some whiffs happen here. Same time, JYU is caught out here. Primal split activated. I don't think he's gonna be getting out of this one alive. He does have either storm active here, but it's simply not enough damage to slow these guys down. Can he get out of his one more. Oh, again. Rock does the trick. Slaps him in the face. Meanwhile, uh, with MP, they managed to get the ogre. Yeah. A little something there. Nice ice path. Shutting everyone down. MP won't be finding anyone else. MP so poor. So poor. Very, very sad Slark. I was just going to join your team. Like, okay, I'm poor. I'm just going to fight with my team and get some goals this way. Get some kill gold. While the AM is farming, he has his battle free coming to him. Oh. 15 minutes in. My god. Perfect timing, Karn. Well said. You predicted it. Well, I mean, yeah. And yeah. 15 minutes. It was pretty good for a solo AM, but was not even given any. He was not being helped at all. He was on his own. He wasn't really given space. He was in the middle. He was on his own, and he gets a 15 minute treads battle free. And now his farm is gonna skyrocket, and there's no way Slark is gonna keep up with him. Yeah, I don't think so. Slark and Razor combined, we barely keep up with him. Yeah, this late game is getting better and better. More rave here. Chrissy caught out though. Nice yours there. Gonna slow things down, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough here. Chrissy just simply too much damage. Nice swap. Even with the swap though, oh, I think I'll get three for this. Whoa, they are gonna get three for this. They're just way too deep there. I think they probably should have just let him go. And nice. that is that is such a good pickoff from Pokerface. They didn't use anything. They used a Spink Skewer. And that's three kills, just like Did that. they use RP? I thought they might no, have used it. No, they didn't. No. RP is still up. Oh, no, it's it's down. But I don't think they used it now. Oh, no, actually, they might, they might have. I think they used it to get yeah, the, yeah. the other two together. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. My mistake. So good. Yeah. But, I mean, it's still it's still nothing. For three, that is perfect. Yeah, three, three, zero, three zero. RP is actually what you want. Absolutely. So great to go from Pokerface. Exactly what they needed. 
Though they still can't, they can't really get objectives from it, though. I mean, this is the biggest problem with their lineup. Yeah. They they can get the kills, but what are they going to do after they got the kills? They need to get the towers. Yeah, if they don't get towers, the Jo is not going to be pressured. He can just he's going to be completely fine just farming it up while while people just get killed left and right. Yeah. Trade kills and he's just farming. He doesn't care for the MP. Not getting that much golds. He needs to get more kills than that if he wants to be relevant. Yeah, absolutely. So we blink. Geo, continuing to farm. What do you think he's gonna go for next, Karn? Oh, uh, Mentor. Oh, he missed that. Come on, don't miss. He, he, oh. got, he got smoked. He doesn't want to win this one. Oh, man, that's a little money. Hey. Blink Dagger on Slark now, too, so he's, he's slowly okay, finding fine. farm. Slowly. It's 57 last hits. That's nothing. It's half. That is exactly half of what the anti anti mage has. Yeah. Well, at least he has his Blink now, so he can just... Starts being much more aggressive. He's gonna put a lot of more pressure on the map. <laughs> <laughs> a little more three fire blasts. That looks funny. Yeah, hey, Ogre 2 has long, long, long uh, animation, so the Rubik is gonna be pretty happy to have these these fast. Yeah, absolutely. You can see this bottom tier one being pushed up. Ninja the... be careful. Yeah, it's yeah. luck. TP in as well. Brewmaster. Slow this push down here. 12 to 8 now. Pokerface in the lead. I think a uh, good thing about for the late game for Pokerface, uh, obviously they have a Magnus, so even if uh, Rio were to go for a BKB, it won't matter too much. Ooh, Rio taking a huge damage there. Pound. Oh, this is a little too much from Rio. Is he going to get a Primal Split or anything? No, nope, he's not. He's going to go down. Uh, we did see a, a swap on MP, but he gets away. Kind of waste. There's no way. Huge waste, yeah. So, slow rotations from Rave and a great pick off once again from Pokerface. They're finding the kills they need. Yeah, man. So now it's starting to get dangerous. Like, Jo's farming, yes, but beside Jo, what are the threats they game? On Pokerface, you have Magnus can be a threat. You have Slark. You have uh, Razor, obviously. Yeah. So, and on Rave, like, the late game is uh, just Jo, basically. That's the problem with the AM. You need, like, four heroes that can fight and be active really early on. Yeah, absolutely. It's Jo now. He's doing some work here. He wants to take down Febby. But he can. He's still he's a string here. He's not that much. Enough here. Oh, MP is completely caught out. MP just way too deep here. And that's that's his Yasha. That's the Yasha for uh, Jo. Wow. So I think everything's kind of hinging on Jo at this point. And this is probably why Pokeface banned out four of Jo's heroes. They're just like, this guy is he's a monster. It's in the late game. So we're going to try and shut him down as best we can. Yasha coming up. He's gonna. Uh, There's still like tier one mid tower standing. There's yeah, no still. RP though, and Magnus is not mana, so they cannot really fight. Yeah, they can't. They can only delay at this point. I think it's gonna go down no matter what. There, yeah. liquid fire. Oh, uh, that's a oh. DKB for not even. A oh. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. They get rid of it. Nice skewer there. Uh, BKB was overkill. This is a 10 second BKB just for an ogre kill that yeah. you would have gotten even without the BKB. Yeah, a bit of a waste there. A little bit trigger happy. Oh well, at least they can secure the kill. 14 to 9 now in kills. AM still just farming away. 153 last hits at this point. It's actually getting insane how much free farm he has and how much space he's been given. He's not again. Now he's still uh, not the fastest. You've seen on AMs, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. It's what is needed. Yeah. They, they're getting pressured now. Since the Slark has been, Magnus has been. They got what they need now to get active on the map, so he can't just free farm and like be no worry about anything. And he's gonna start thinking about joining his team. As soon as he gets the Manta, he will join all the fights, that's for sure. Yeah. He cannot like wait any longer. And Manta is always gonna need to to be good to go. Pick on someone, Manta, burn all his mana. Man avoid. Rubik is gonna have it. He's gonna be pretty sad in this game. Oh, I can imagine. But again, they have a lot of ways to stop him, though. Yeah, yeah. but oh, uh, oh, watch out here. Razor has been cut out. JYU simply got nowhere to go here. There's four of them there. It's gonna be a very easy kill in Sky. I think is when he's about to Oh, die, whoa. I don't know about that either. Very ambitious there. Swap on the Sky. Sky also caught out. Same time. So we do see Primal Split activated. And Sky, as well as MP, could very well go down at this point. It's gonna be three for nothing. Oh, nice oh. yules. Uh, oh, blink. What? Blink does work. What the hell just happened? Blink does work. I'm not sure. First he leaped and 
You four. still went off. So. Yeah, I don't know. But JR, JR finds 485 anyway. So this is just. I think this is going to trigger the push here. They can get a tier 2 from this very, very easy. JR is the sickest items right now for his timing. 21 minutes in. He's got Yasha, Battle Fury treads, and a lot more money picking up those kills. And with the tier 2 tower as well. We're going to see a TP's in actually. So they're going to try and stop and defend this. It's going to be very low. They're going to have to deny this. Nope. Uh, not going to happen. Chrissy gets a kill. Yeah, we go. Liquid fire. Liquid fire does work. Jo farming the Radiant Jungle now. See so how much map control they feel they have. And now uh, the thing is like, they want to fight, so they got some more... Uh, they, want, uh, they got some ground. They took some map control, and now Jo can afford to farm the enemy's jungle. And, like, the lanes are pushed out like really far, so... Mm. Pokerface is going to lose a lot of goals from this. Ray's going to get a lot of it. Because... Uh, because uh, AM is just farming the enemy's resources. Yeah, and look at that net worth already. It's almost 12,000. And 9,000 is the, the next one, Razor. Pushing the tier 2 mid there. Yeah, they feel the pressure. It's time to apply the pressure, it seems. Jay just farming. I think he has his mental. I think, I think uh, yeah, I think Jay has I think his he mental. Might have, I think he might be right there. Yeah, there it is, Manta. Already. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty even game when it comes to experience, I guess, but gold. Definitely in the favor of Rave right now. Slogging for BKB is going to make him uh, pretty unkillable. Okay. Bit of a whiff there on Febby. And it looks like Ninja Boogie has been caught out here. Pounds is going to secure this. Yeah. Easy kill. I think we're going gonna... to be satisfied with that kill alone. JYU. I think you got the tower too, so. Yep. Yeah. the tower. And Sark just uh, roaming in their jungle, taking the farm in there, doing what uh, Jay is doing in their own jungle. Yeah, essentially. Ice path. Scouting ice path there. Yeah. And yeah, looks like they're not going to find anything there. You see Jay up top, it's being pretty safe here, going to resume his farming. How's that Manta now? Oh, he is getting primed to fight. What do you think his next item is going to be, Karn? Uh, there's a lot of options. You can go butterf butterfly, you can go heart. Uh, depends. Uh, depends what he want to do. That he wants to do. But I think butterfly is uh, pretty safe. He doesn't. Or maybe he wants to make sure he survives the RP. So maybe heart. Mm -hmm. Maybe basher is possible too. But I don't think so. Yeah. Either a heart or a butterfly. Depends how you want to take take this. Mm -hmm. Regardless, looks like we are gonna see the safe route. The safe route is heart. Yeah. Oh, Primal Split activated on the sky here, and this should be a very, very easy kill. So a great start to this engagement. We did see MP TP in here, and whoa, what was that? Doesn't matter. Yeah. We're going to zone him out at the very least while the enemy mage gets to tier 2. So very nicely done there. I think he used Mana Void on a full uh, full Mana Earthshaker. Yeah, he just assumed he used something, yeah. but he didn't use anything. Sky, uh, not falling into that trap. Yeah. Wasting spells on a on a master speed. Not gonna happen. Now they're just gonna go straight for Roshan. Well, so I guess he's going for Aegis next. <laughs> I guess that is his build order. And we do see a smoke up from Pokeface. Do they know? They are heading this way, so yeah, it's gonna be too late. Oh yeah, it's still like too much damage there, and any mage picks up the Aegis. And uh oh, Yules on the Razor, JYU in huge trouble once again. Is it gonna be enough? Do they actually want to engage in this? They are being a bit indecisive, and... Oh, they're gonna get two? Okay. Oh, it's two. Just Chrissy by the looks of things here. Doing a bit of damage there. It's a five-man commitment for two of them. Yeah, Vengeful they get, they get and Chikiru. Yeah, they get Chrissy though, and... Uh, well, AJ is still here, so it's still okay. Rave uh, probably doesn't care too much. Yeah. It's usually when you get in, you have an AM, it's... Uh, all eggs. All eggs in this basket. Yeah. 14,000 net worth now in the AM. Looks like Pokeface Face are going to be finally pushing up to a tier 2 here. They already got one of them in. Now it's time for the bottom one. Oh, he's, I think Fabi is going for a refresher. He almost has it. Oh, yeah? It seems so. It's going to be a big problem for AM. I mean, the problem is that if he gets uh, caught by AM, he won't, he's never going to be able to cast two, two RPs. Yeah, that is actually very, very true here. And uh, maybe maybe Jo would go for a BKB too, so I can focus on the Magnus. Oh, Jo, gonna go for it here. That's fine, Jo. We went MP, MP. MP no mana now. Very, very low on mana here. He should go down from a mana void. 
Not yet. And oh, just simply no much damage. This this AM has so much farm already. JYU in huge trouble here. Gets swapped out. There's simply nothing he can do at this point, I don't think. Yeah. Thunderclap, yeah, just looking done. For someone else and he found Sky. He found Sky. Tried to dodge, dodge with the... Mana Void works this time. That's three for nothing, four for nothing. With the tail end of that one. Febby goes down. They're looking pretty bad for the face. Yeah, Rave have really caught their stride this time. They, they're in that the position they exactly want to be in. J.O. has found the farm he needs. Now it's simply about pushing towers, I think. They're in that much of a sort of a lead when it comes to team fights. I think Jo bought something and still has 4k gold. Something's coming out. Uh, coming out <laughs> uh, he bought something for sure. He had like 3k gold after the rush on 3k too. Yep. We're gonna see exactly what he's got picked. Down goes another tier two. That's every single tier two. Four poker face now. I hope it's not an item for him. Jo still did. hasn't died. Oh no, actually it's not. Ah, uh, it's a pipe for Chikiro. Aghanim's finally alive for Razor though, so the the pushing pushing just became real for Poker Face. But can they actually find it at this point? It feels like they they've just given the anti mage too much space, and he has become a monster. Yeah, but one thing though is that uh, anti mage uh, caps out pretty fast. We max out pretty fast, and then uh, we're gonna fall off in the ultra late game. So mm. there's gonna be a point where AM is gonna be the strongest, where it's most probably after his next item, uh, hard time assuming. And when he gets it, yeah, this is when he's the strongest. Mm. At least, uh, okay, he gets like, he has like two more items to get, and this is when he's gonna be the strongest. Mm. And if the game goes too long, then Star is gonna uh, catch up, get some more items. Uh -huh. Razor is gonna have a refresher, refresher on uh, Magnus too. So then uh, AM won't be able to win this game just but on his own. Mm. He's gonna fall off, and Otto is gonna get stronger and stronger. We'll have to see how passive Raven gonna be in this. I don't think they're gonna make this mistake. I think this is gonna push the press the issue as soon as uh, AM is at full potential, which is uh, pretty soon. Yep. Once more, just free farming as much as he can. Well, the other four give him room. And here we go again. Smoke rotation into the Radiant Jungle here. They could catch out Febby here, and I think they will. Nice Yules there. Ice Path goes down. Do they have actually enough damage before Febby can come back? Yes, they do. Very, very nicely done there. Great, great, very important pickup. And they kind of award. Blink. MP really just casually hit MP, <laughs> like, sup? Forces any mage to blink away. He wants to steal some stuff. Yeah, he went for BKB, okay. Yeah. So now he can just uh, focus on the Magnus, force an RP, or uh, like maybe burn his mana before he can uh, actually RP. Yeah. On a stun. They can, like, they have a lot of stuns, so they can do this. Mm. Here we go. Looks like they're going to be pushing the high ground finally. We got a lot of uh, a lot of poker face out of position for this actually. Yeah, Rubik is way back. The river, they all TP back, so they're gonna be ready for this. They have the Aegis they wanna use. Activated it. here. And Telekinesis on the chair. Simply not enough there. Pipe has been everything so far. And gotta get away from that there. And tier 3 has almost gone down already. Yeah, but they can't they can't really shit. There's an Aegis and he has a BKB too, so as soon as they, they have to use RP to kill him. But uh, as, this, as they use RP, there's no way to control it too much anymore. They get a tier 3 and back off, so... Great little poke there from Rave. They are in such a commanding position in this game. This is, this is the Rave that I was expecting to see in the game 1, but uh, Pokerface just showing some great great skill. Yeah, they had a good draft too. But this game drafts a little bit not as strong, but I mean... Uh, Rave had the last pick, so they saw, like, oh, okay, this game is going to be good for anti -mage. Yeah. And they also did... It was very good to put him mid against the Razor. He did very, very well. He won this lane without committing any support to supporting him. So, mm. and that's that's like that's like perfect. You don't need any. It's like best position you can be in. Yeah. Still see no item on uh, any mage just yet. I wonder what Jay is gonna go for next. I think he needs to butterfly. You think he's saving for buyback currently? Maybe he could he could be saving for buyback. Otherwise, uh, as soon as he thinks. It's safe to buy, he's gonna buy a butterfly. Because mm. uh, he already got a defensive item, the BKB, so getting hard now would be would be a waste. Kind of wasteful, yeah, I agree. So, game slowly becomes a little bit stagnant here. Looks like they yeah, do see a rotation up to the top. Rior, a bit out of position here. So they are gonna go for him, they disable his blink. Telekinesis, Bebby waiting for the skewer. He doesn't have enough for the split anyway. Doesn't even have to, there we go. 
Everyone else kind of rotating in a little bit too late. J.O. looking for someone, looking for Febby. They are going to get him. At the same time, we do see a nice swap there onto JYU, and he's caught out in the ice path as well. Beautiful swap, and that's going to be two for one. So, nice little bait there with the Brewmaster. Yeah, using RP just to kill him. Uh, do whatever. Yeah, the and AM I AM can do whatever he wants. And I think we can see uh, another tier three. There's a big on Earthshaker, though, so. Yeah. Telekinesis. On the Chrissy, and they're actually feeling very, very brave at this point. MP split pushing, but it is a Slark. Not going to do much. Yeah, Slark who didn't see any stats, he's just walking around. With Casual Slark there, and same time, J.O. down bottom. Actually going for the racks, split pushing very yeah. efficiently. That buyback on Razor was not the most scary thing, because he, he, he doesn't have Eye of the Storm, he doesn't have BKB. It's like, eh. it's like, uh, not the scariest thing in the world. Yeah. They're gonna probably wait for the next Aegis before uh, committing a lot. And he almost has a butterfly. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have it in like 600, 500 golds. Shiva is onto uh, Brewmaster actually. Yeah, very good in this game. Yeah. It's gonna help out a lot. Uh, just goes to show how far ahead Rave are getting. Even though the, the kill score is pretty even, it's just the, the amount of farming Rave have been doing while this has all been going on. The amount of towers they've killed, including a tier 3. AM is gonna have his, he has his butterfly if he wants to now, so he's gonna buy. It, I, think. I could watch any mage just farm creeps all day. <laughs> and there's something about like the way his attack sounds are just soothing. Yeah, man, it's, that's class. That's that's what that's the word you're looking for. It might be it. It might it's be class. it. Class. Russia, I'm already back like ten seconds. Yeah. Fast respawn. Well, struggling for a scuddy, it seems. Yeah. Still a way away there. Very far away. Yeah. We do have that Ags on the Razor as well. Maybe they're the ones that are going to go for Roshan at this point. We're going to see uh, Slark scouted out. If the they can, if they can uh, sneak it in, yeah, it's going to be big. They really need, if they don't get the Aegis, if Rave gets it, there's no chance. Yeah. It's like actually Rave are being pretty defensive at this point. Uh, they don't know where Rave is. They might be smoked like nearby. Mm. There's AM, obviously. Like, uh, Showing up now, middle, but they didn't know until then. Yeah. As long as things calming down. Yeah, things kind of stabilizing. Uh, Rave waiting for the. Oh, he has refresher in like uh, 300, not 500, mm. 300, yeah. Once he gets hit, he's gonna be. He's gonna have to be very careful because he wants to lay the double RP and AM. Or at least as many people as possible. Yeah. Because he cannot really let Jakiro. Free, same for the blue, blue master. There's so many targets. Everyone on Rave is a threat. They have so many disables spread out uh, amongst their heroes. So either way, it's gonna be really difficult RPs for Febby. And you were right about the uh, the butterfly. This is the first purchase for J.O. And here we go. Looks like Pokerface have finally decided to commit to Roshan. Same time though, we do see any mage split pushing down but, uh, top lane. Yeah, but I think they expected there's nobody. There's nobody in the middle. This is oh, the biggest challenge. They've been scattered out here. Yeah, they have been scattered mm -hmm. out here. We did see any mage actually rotate. They say they are going to fight for it here. Febby finds oh. Jakiro though, but he's still in the top lane. A great four stuff. Febby is actually caught out. He can be out in two seconds. Two seconds, and he will stay that way. Primal split. Oh, almost no, activated. His oh, speaker just got stopped by Wave of Terror. Oh, so no. Febby's still stuck there. He's still stuck there. Okay, at the no, same no. time. Brewmaster on the hunt here, looking for someone. And looks like he's going to go for the uh, the Earthshaker here. You're going to see Primal Split activated, not yet. They're really not letting this Brewmaster get it. No, they just really keep denying him. And wow, they actually zoned them out. No one goes down. Very, no very surprising. Caught. Everybody's running, man. Now they're like, okay, let's go, Roshan. Oh, they're going to come to us. Now Magnus has Refresher as well. It's pretty big, it's especially if we can get it, uh, get it off in the, in the pit. Oh, that'd be messy. That would be actually disgusting. And Rave doesn't have vision up there, so they don't yeah. know. Yeah, they don't know. I think they're just gonna leave, uh, yeah, just J.O. alone in the pit. Well, same time, Venge looking, looking to try and get out of here. RP on two. RP on two, very nicely done here. Oh, no, he off. oh, two go down, Brewmaster as well as Venge. Same time there. So we see uh, Anime trying to turn this around, kind of in the middle of nowhere there. JYU very, very low here. He should be gone. One more blink. Oh, oh very nice. that ice nice path. Play. That ice path. So it was two for one at the end of all things. And yeah, but it's a double RP, so. Yeah. Uh, double RP, the, the, they can deal with anti mage. Right? Very, very Slark healthy anti mage. 
Turf is too. Yeah. And oh, so they got a nice ice pass as well. MP going in deep. Earth Shaker goes down. Telekinesis on the he, JO. But he doesn't have mana. He no doesn't mana. Have. And it should be enough. Down he goes. Three for two now. These eye pass are just zoning everyone out here, yeah. and this is definitely going to be Raves Roshan. Yeah, it's probably Raves game. Very, very possibly at this point, it's looking very, very strong. Butterfly has been uh, fully purchased at this point as well. Hey, I'm like 10k ahead of Razor. 10k ahead at this point. 24,000 net worth. Geo has definitely found his stride this game. Yeah, now they're not going to wait. Like, okay, I got my butterfly. This is, I got my butterfly. I got Aegis. It's time to win, guys. Time to win. Five slotted. At this yeah. point. Pushing up two lanes. Mid, bud. Aghanim's onto the uh, Ugin Major as well. Oh, man. So much burst damage. And the BKB from uh, Razor is so, uh, so, so low duration now. So. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, I, I, I like the, uh, the pipe on the creeps. That's, uh, that's cool. Yeah, but it's still managed to. <laughs> they still managed to kill. This simply is too much. And, ooh, this is actually no, nice static not. link. Whoa, this is a huge static link, actually. Taking yeah, out so finally, much damage. Finally, first one you managed to get, to get off. <laughs> yeah. They gonna it took like two stuns. Uh, the same swap. time, Ninja Boogie, nice swap there. Very nice, but nice. I've passed two people. Another Primal split around. activated here. JYU getting caught out. Down he goes. No, not just yet. He's going to stay alive, actually, but I don't think their barracks will. Been one for one so far, Earthshaker and Venge. Gone down already, and down goes the racks down by. Yeah, I don't think they get any more kills for this. Yeah, they can't deal with this AM. They can't, they can't chase this AM. He is still way too healthy with an, uh, an Aegis. But I would say they are want to fight here. MP caught out as well. JYU also in big trouble if they decide to commit. Joe just keeps, keeps MP down. JO wants it, he wants the kill. Ooh. Nice ice pass, gets both of them. Febby gets blown up. This could be game any second here if they decide to do it. Yeah, I mean, they should know that this is not coming back from this. No, nope, they're going to go for the mid. These or are down. Hard to aim if he wants or Abyssal. You should go Abyssal, actually. You can go Abyssal. Might as well at this point. You are so far ahead. Down goes the mid Raxes. There's no one to stop him except an Earthshaker. But this doesn't really stop him. This is not going to happen at this point. Well. And, yep, let's go for the Mega Creeps. Still 25 seconds left on Slark, 28 on Magnus. Looks like JYU wants to come in and try something here. Static Link, They're just ignoring got him. a healthy Static Link, but they could just ignore him. Or they could just kill him, I guess. Nice eye pass, JYU, he's just going to die. JYU just does too much damage. We should see GG any second now. Is Dio having some fun now? He just want to have some fun. JYU just wants kills now. He wants sweet record. And ice path whiffs. And down goes the last racks. Mega creeps. Mega anti mage. This is pretty much it. This is it. Cast goes down MP. To what end? Oh, nice ice oh, pass. Kill Drew, actually. Oh, they might. They do, but he has an Aegis, so who cares? Doesn't matter. He's back. He's batting on his back. Oh, that was close. Well, just misses out here. Still gonna get kills. It looks like Jay just wants to finish it. He wants to go home. He gets another kill. And GG is called. Very well played from Rave. And yeah, we end the so day with a 1 1 between yeah. Poker Face and Rave. Yeah, pretty close. Uh, very close first game. Second game, not so close. Yeah, I think I think Poker Face kind of just got out drafted and they just didn't really yeah. find the pushing lineup that they wanted. Yeah, like that, like no, they couldn't put pressure against an AM. You want to put pressure on his base, otherwise he doesn't care. Yeah, you can get some kills. Like it doesn't matter. All your team has to do is just find space, yeah, give just, space, just, just buy time, just distract them. 네, 포커 페이스와 AM의 정말 드라마틱한 두 경기였습니다. 여러분 끝까지 최선을 다해준 포커 페이스 선수들 그리고 레이브 선수들에게 다시 한번 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 저는 오늘 그럼 레이버 포커페이스 한 1승씩 나눠 가진 두 선수들을 무대 위로 올려서 인터뷰를 나눠보도록 하겠습니다. 이 선수들이 아직까지 정리를 다 하지 못하고 부스 안에 있는데요. 아 오늘 경기 정말 드라마틱했습니다. 1세트는 거의 전투의 전투의 전투를 거듭해서 포커페이스가 완벽하게 승리를 거져갔고요. 2세트는 레이브가 레이브 다운, 레이브 스러운 카드 캐리로 멋진 승리를 이끌었습니다. 네, 그럼 양팀 선수들 무대로 모셔볼게요.
네, 올라오세요. 수고하셨습니다. 축하드립니다. 축하드립니다. 올라오세요, 레이브 선수들. 축하드립니다. 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 네, 1세트 네. 승리. 아, 너무 멋졌어요. 네, 감사합니다. 1세트를 보면서 제가 느낀 건 아, 레이브에 대한 전략을 정말 포커페이스가 잘 짰구나. 이런 느낌이었어요. 네. 파밍할 여지를 주지를 않더라고요. 어때요? 1세트 포커페이스가 레이브를 겨냥한 전략픽이 맞나요? 네, 아무래도 레이브 쪽에서 요즘에 하드캐리 육성에 좀 많이 공을 들이는 것 같아서 하드캐리가 클틈 없이 좀 힐을 많이 넣어서 그냥 배럭을 바로 그냥 쟤네 본진을 쓸어버리자 약간 이런 전략이었는데 많이 어설퍼서 킬스코어 자체는 저희가 많이 밀렸던 네, 진거나 다름없는 게임이라고 일단 생각은 해요. 아 정말 1세트는 난투에 난투에 난투를 거듭해서 4885 선수 복수 훈령 아 정말 슈퍼 세이브 여러 장면 나왔어요 네. 쾌감이 있으셨을 것 같은데 어떠세요? 그냥 애초에 좀 그런 위치에 없었으면 좋겠는데 뭐 들어가니까 <웃음> 살려줘야죠 <웃음> 네 다음 경기는 네. 최근에 보셨죠 ISF 경기에서 네. MVP 피닉스가 네. 뉴비를 상대로 그리고 한 세트지만 승리를 거둬갔어요. 네. 또 근데 다음 경기, 포커페이스의 다음 경기 상대가 MVP 피닉스입니다. 네. 플레이오프 진출을 위해서도 MVP 피닉스와의 경기 굉장히 중요하거든요. 그렇죠. 네, 어떻게 준비하실 계획이세요? 또 연구를 많이 해야죠. 연구를 하는 것도 하는 건데 저희 기본기가 좀 많이 부족한 것 같아서 기본기도 쌓으면서 스모크도 맞추면서 하나하나 2대0은 안 당하도록 최대한. 네. 네. 다음 경기에도 멋진 모습 기대하겠습니다. 여러분 승리한 포커페이스에게 다시 한번 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 평 매니저님 네, 얼마나 네, 네. 기분이 좋으세요? 그렇게 썩 좋지 않아요. <웃음> 이 세트는 사실 아, 레이브가 역시 이게 레이브지 할 정도로 항마 사과를 멈출 수가 없었어요. 마지막에는. 네네네. 네, 네. 네, 이 세트 어떻게 보셨어요? 뱅 끝나고 나서 제오 무난하게 크면 은 이기겠다 싶었는데 안 잘려가지고 그게 좀 크게 컸던 것 같아요. 이길 수 있었던 게. 음. 편하게 봤어요, 경기. 제오의 항마사는 믿고 볼만하다. 아니요, 원래 못 믿어요. 아, 못 믿어요? <웃음> <웃음> 제오 아. 선수한테 물어보고 싶어요. 항마사 어떻게 플레이하셨는지, 이 세트. 한국말로 하셔도 되고 영어로 하셔도 돼요. 짜장면 만갱. 뭐라고 하나? 짜장면만 생각했대요. 아. 짜장면. 재윤 선수가 짜장면을 굉장히 좋아한다고요. 짜장면을 생각하면서 절대 죽지 않고 오늘 경기를 빨리 이겨야겠다라고 생각했다고 합니다. 네. 네 다음 레이버의 경기는 MVP 하식스거든요. 네네네. 네, 네. 근데 MVP 하식스를 상대로 한 세트만 승리를 가져가셔도 결승전 진출이 확정됩니다. 네. 그만큼 중요한 다음 경기가 될 텐데 어떠세요? 네, 그냥 하던 대로 열심히 하면 은 준비하면 괜찮을 것 같아요. 저희가 하식 상대로 되게 승률이 좋아요. 네. 항상 해외에 대해서 만났을 때한번 지고 다 이긴 걸로 알고 있거든요, 지금. 근데 선수 멤버들이 바뀌어서 그 이후로는 한 번도 안 해봐서 잘 모르겠는데 네, 준비 많이 해야죠. 피닉스보다 하식스가 더 많이 이긴다고 그러던데. 아. 둘이 연습하면. MVP 하식스를 상대로도 오늘처럼 멋진 경기 부탁드립니다. 여러분 레이브 선수와 평 매니저에게 다시 한번 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네 이렇게 해서 오늘의 경기 결과 티어 2에서는 제퍼가 티어 1에서는 포커 페이스와 레이브가 각각 1승씩을 가져갔습니다. 끝으로 여러분께 퀴즈 드려야죠. 오늘의 티어 1첫 번째 경기는 포커 페이스가 승리를 했습니다. 과연 포커페이스가 선택한 다섯 개의 영웅은 무엇일까요? 정답을 아시는 분은 스포티비 게임즈 공식 페이스북에 댓글을 남겨주세요. 그러면 저희가 정답자에 한해 추첨을 통해 문화상품권과 영화 예매권을 드리도록 하겠습니다. 극강의 한타 KDL 시즌4 그러면 저희는 11월 23일 일요일 오후 1시 30분에 티어2의 몽키스테너와 비마이너 티어1의 m v p 6와 네이브의 경기로 다시 돌아오겠습니다. Thank you everyone for watching. We will see you again at the same time next week for more KDL. See you next week. <laughs>